Hey, 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 it's Leona. How you doing? Happy Wednesday. Oh my gosh, look what's happening right here, right now. We have all the colors. I'm so excited. How are you? I hope you're well and good. If you are watching this on the replay, thank you very much. It's lovely to see you. If you could go ahead and subscribe, that would be lovely. If you could drop me a like, that would be even more amazing. Thank you so much. And even try and come in on the live next week, 7 p.m. UK time. Uh, it'd be lovely to see you on the live because it's so much fun when we're making stuff along with each other. It's really nice and social and chatty. Uh, so come along. Hi, Celeste. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Happy Wednesday. Look at you straight away. Where am I? What a great question that is. I am in my own art. This is a piece of my art that you can actually see on any of my social medias. This is a piece of my art and I'm sitting inside it today. I mean, we've just got all Inception. It's Inception is happening right now. How are you, my love? Have you had a nice week so far? Let me know, welcome, welcome. So today, we're gonna be making a pop-up card. Really nice and beautiful. Let me hold it a bit closer so you can see. So you can see there's like a couple of flowers like sitting up there nice and proud. There's some butterflies in the background. That's just an optional thing. I'm gonna show you how to make this. It's really easy. I mean, as are all my projects that I do on the live stream, using materials that you might already have or that you can find around your house and just simple and easy and like, let's have some fun. You know what I mean? Let's have some fun. So yeah, exciting times. I am in my artwork. Is it fine if I use paper, not card? Yeah, it's fine actually. It won't be quite as strong, but it will still work. Like the whole process will work. So it's actually paper is good if you're having a little practice, if you wanna like test it out, that works really good. So I'm gonna run through the materials with you and everything. Do you like the whole orange vibe I've got going on? I've got orange here. Orange is actually incidentally my favorite color. Not this quite this orange, more this, or, here we go, this, this kind of orange here. So kind of like a mid sort of a mango color. Uh, every comment coming up, is from me and Alex. Oh, it's because you're really early. You're just in, well, you're not really early. You're just dead on time. Most people come like a few seconds. Oh, and if you're watching this on the replay, I usually take about 10 minutes just to say hello to everyone as they're coming in the room, uh, say all the materials and stuff like that. And then we get started and the project is usually around 90 minutes. Uh, is it only me on the chat at the moment? It's just you, but it's just me and you. How lovely is that? It's just me and you having a little chit chat. So I'm gonna show you what we've got happening uh, with the materials. So this is the card. Actually, this is quite good to show you kind of how it pops up. I like the orange mango color. I'm so glad. What is your favorite color, Celeste? Um, so this is what we're making, pop-up card, flowery, summery theme, it's all happening. I'm gonna show you what you need. You're gonna need a pencil, as always, right? Pretty much, I think every single project, you need a pencil. So get stocked up on your pencils. You're gonna need an eraser, for sure. Well, not for sure, for maybe. Maybe you'll need a pen, uh, maybe you'll need an eraser, sorry. Maybe you'll need an eraser. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. It's just good to have it hanging about, right? Um, uh, I was right, reminding myself every second to do Leona. Oh, you're so lovely. Celeste, it's so lovely having you here. Uh, you're gonna need a sharpener. Again, that's a kind of optional thing. And I've got my little crab sharpener today. What do you think of my little crab? Crab, 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 crab. Got my little crab sharpener here. I like yellow, as I said from Alex. Hi, Alex, how you doing? Happy Wednesday. Thank you for joining me for another fabulous week. I hope you like the whole backdrop of me being inside my own artwork for you guys to make it all lovely and beautiful and colorful for you. Uh, oh yeah, and you need a little tray. If you've got your sharpener with you, it's good to have a little tray or something because often the bits kind of fall back out even though they're not supposed to. They kind of fall back out. Uh, you're gonna need a glue and some scissors. Right, so you're gonna need glue and scissors for this, 100%. And an optional thing is like a black pen. I kind of haven't decided if I'm gonna use this black pen or not today, so I've just got it just in case. 
But if you've got like a bunch of felt tips, maybe some coloring pencils handy, they're all optional cool things you can use as well. I've just got this sort of as backup really. Right, so you're gonna need all those things or maybe I'll leave it in the corner there. Um, I'm doing 45 minutes of this making card and I'm gonna do the rest on the replay. Well, you know that's absolutely fine because the main part of the project is gonna probably be done in about 45 minutes. So that's actually, it's perfect timing today, perfect timing. I've got everything, oh hold on, there's a couple more things you're gonna need, a couple more things. So, oh we've got the sharpener, I'll leave the sharpener out for now because it's in that, or should we put it over there? Let's put it there. So I've got a backup pen there, backup pencil, my little sharpener. And then you're gonna need like two pieces of A4 cards. Now these can be any color you like, it doesn't matter. I'm going to do mine white because I have a lot of white at home, you know, so it's really whatever you've got. Woo! I'm commenting so much because I want to keep you occupied. Oh, you're so, too lovely. That is lovely of you. I love reading comments and doing the art and everything. So I'm really happy for you to comment. I love it when you say happy Wednesday. <laughs> Hi, Mira. How you doing? Happy Wednesday. I can't help saying happy Wednesday. I always say happy Wednesday. I can't help myself. Happy Wednesday. Love the fan. Very music video and the backdrop. Do you like it? This is my own artwork. I'm sitting inside my own artwork today. Um, thank you very much. Thank you so much. By the way, the chat is over here. This is why I keep looking over in this direction, okay? I'm um, here till about eight, so we'll catch up later. You're gonna be fine. The main bulk of this project is gonna be in about 45 minutes, so you're gonna get it. It's all gonna be fine, don't worry. Uh, hi, Leona, hi, Jean. How you doing? Happy Wednesday. Uh, what you're not doing, love it. Oh, it's gonna be all the colors, beautiful things for you to watch along with. Now, Celeste, you're not the only one chatting. See, I said you gotta wait a few minutes, there'll be some more people in. Yeah, exactly. So I am bringing you this beautiful, like colorful happening stuff today. And this is just the beginning, guys. This is just, I just wanna say, before I carry on telling you the art materials, this is just the beginning of how amazing this stream is gonna get, all right? So you wanna stay tuned every week because this backdrop is just the start, right? Just the start of all the fabulousness, right? Hi Zach, how are you doing? Happy Wednesday, how are you? <laughs> I've got mini decorational umbrellas to decorate. Amazing, wow, wow, it's all happening. Um, so yeah, so let me carry on with the art materials. So we've got, we have got, we have got uh, a pencil, a rubber, some scissors, some glue, a uh, um, sharpener, I've got my little crab crab sharpener. I always call him a little crab crab. Um, and then you're gonna need two sheets of card. Any color will do. Oh, I've just got white. Any color will do. And then, oh, these need to be exactly the same size. They can be any size. Mine's A4, but they can be any size you like. If you wanna do a small mini card, they can be half the size, it can be A5. But these are A4. And then you want like a selection of paper on card. Right, you want a bunch of nice pretty stuff, all right? So I have got here a bunch of things. So I've got, uh, I don't know what to say, so I'm saying, Leona, tell me how's your day been? You can always tell me how your day's been, what you've been up to and stuff. Uh, so I've got a bunch of card. Now for the pop-up, what you're gonna need is these bits are gonna, is, it's most advantageous if these bits are card because they kind of just stand up. Can you see how they stand up really nicely? They're gonna need to be card, right? And then the rest can be paper. I've just got everything is card, but if you've got paper and card, that's fine. But these bits, whatever they are, we're gonna do flowers, but whatever you want them to be, and I'll talk about that in a bit, they've gotta be card, all right? And that's it. So I've got like a bunch of stuff. Why don't you start the live stream 10 minutes before seven? I mean, I could. I really could do that. That's quite a good idea. I could do that. 
I went on my bike from Alex. Oh, I love it. So, oh, I hope you had a nice bike ride. I'd love to go on a bike ride. I haven't got a bike. Uh, okay, so we've got some colours here. And I don't know if I'm going to use all these. These are just like the stuff that I picked out from my big crate full of paper and cards. So I've got a yellow, red and a blue, which I might use, I might not. But these are the things that I'm probably going to use a lot of because they're all patterned. I mean, look at these right i mean i suggest if you haven't already like invested in some like beautiful papers and cards for projects that you can just use over and over again i really do recommend it like look at all this beautiful stuff i mean this is just the options are amazing and this came in like a really big pack i think i'm trying to remember how much it was it wasn't that expensive. I was really happy when I got it. I remember being really, really happy that it wasn't too expensive. I think it might have been about £10 or £8. Definitely no more than 10 for all of this, which is amazing. So I've got these lovely flowers I'm going to use. Look at that. It's so pretty, hey? So basically like a bunch of stuff. Oh, and that one I really, really love. Now you're the only one chatting. It's true, now you're the only one chatting, but that's absolutely fine. That's absolutely fine, Celeste, or Alex, or whoever's chatting. Both of you is absolutely fine. All right, so we're going to get going. We're going to get started. We're going to get going. Oh, and don't forget, if you are really enjoying these streams, please do share with someone that you think might really enjoy it. Because, like I said, we're like expanding this stream, making it all colourful and amazing for you, bringing you all the fabulous creativity. So if you can share with someone you think might like this, that would be amazing, right? That would be amazing. Thank you in advance. Um, on all these live streams, I always be it will always be me, Alex in capitals. Love it. <laughs> all right. So should we get started? Let's get started. It's really easy peasy. So I'm going to put all these to one side. And I'm going to get my card, all right? So we're going to get our A4 fabulous card. I'm going to pop you over here. And we're going to begin. We're going to begin. Let me get all my bits out of the way. I hope you got all your things. If you're watching it, like, just to check out and see what to do for, like, following along in the future, then that's amazing, right? Uh catch up in the chat i shared this live stream with 10 of my friends and they're doing it next week oh you're amazing thank you so much amazing amazing yeah it's gonna just get better and better every week right okay so we're gonna do a card a pop-up card and you're gonna get your two pieces of paper uh for now let's just put one to the side and let's go ahead and fold it in half right let's fold it in half folding it in half that's it boom right and then you want to do the same with the other one same 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 so you're gonna have two cards for the price of one some of the names are dasha jacob oh that's nice here we go. So you're going to have two things. One and two. One and two. One and two. Right? And basically one is for the kind of like bit that you're going to decorate. And the other one is just the backing. Right? Because this is a really, really strong card. And actually, I'll tell you what. Actually, it's a really good point. Uh, you could probably do this with paper. Because you're going to do... You're going to put this backing on. Actually, if you're going to do it with paper... Why don't you get another sheet of paper and have another back in and I'll tell you about that when we get to that bit. And then it'll be really strong and you'll probably be all right. Yeah, you could probably be all right. Um, could you please go a bit slowly from Alex? Oh, no problem. Sorry, am I rushing ahead? Am I rushing? Am I rushing? I just thought that I didn't quite show you this maybe enough. So I thought I would like give you another angle so you know exactly what we're doing we're creating this pop-up beautiful pop-up card with flowers it's like a summery gardeny scene love the colors of your art background thank you jean it looks cool hey <laughs> 
Well, it's going to put flowers on there, and then this just looks better for some reason. And it also looks like I'm kind of sitting in a, on a throne almost. This is my sculpture behind here, this white thing behind. It's my sculpture. Uh, anyway. All right. So anyway, 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 let's get that out of the way. All right. So we've got our two pieces of folded card, right? That is what you should have. Two pieces of folded card. All right. I'm going to just wait a few more seconds just in case anyone is doing it along with me. you got to have your two pieces like that. One and two. Boom. Did you realise I've done 40 chats already in 17 minutes? I did not realise that and I really appreciate it. Um, I am using orange and yellow thick paper. Oh, amazing. Orange and yellow. Yes. Orange and yellow. Have you folded them in half? Have you folded them in half all right? Let me know that they're all folded up. How are you been, Jean? How's your Wednesday been so far? Uh, okay. So, thanks. That's all right. All right. So, let's get one of our pieces. Put the other one to the side. So, choose the one. If you're using different colors, choose the one that you want for your background. Okay? So, choose the one that... Oh, let me hold it up this way. Choose the one that you want for the back. Right? And then the one that you've put aside over there, that's going to be this one here, right? Okay. So this is this one. Then I want you to get your pencil. And can you see on the crease here? I have had a good Wednesday. <laughs> Thank you. Now this is crucial, right? This is the crucial moment of this project, okay? If you don't... And this project is, like I said, easy, 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 easy peasy. All right? Next week, we're going to do something that's also easy, but it's got more steps. This has got less steps, this one. Uh, but this is really important. What you're going to do now is you're going to do something on the crease. So you see how the card folds out? What I'm going to do now is going to come from the crease. It has to come from the crease. If you draw it on the side where it, where it opens... It's not going to work, all right? It's just not going to work. It's not going to happen. You're going to waste a sheet of paper or card, and it'll be sad, all right? So you've got to do this on the crease, okay? So I'm going to go and show you from above. So on the crease, what I want you to do is I want you to draw four lines, right? Four lines, and you could use a ruler for this, or you could use something straight, uh, but I'm not going to... I'm not going to, but if you really want to, you can. And I want you to do two parallel lines about, maybe about an inch apart. Something like that. Uh, what's the sculpture made from? Oh, the one behind me. It's made from uh, air drying clay. Air drying clay and then painted with white acrylic. Um... Uh, 12 weeks. Can we do 3D dice, please? Okay, the thing with the 3D dice, the thing with the 3D dice is I've already done the gift box and you can use the gift box to make your dice. It'll be a similar process because it's already like a box and the dice is just a box, right? So you can check that one out. Okay, so uh, we're going to do two lines there. And then we're going to leave a bit of a gap and we're going to do another two lines. So these lines are probably about four centimetres, four centimetres high and about four centimetres in the gap. All right. But you don't need to measure. You know, that's what I'm saying about the gift box and all that. We did measuring. We don't want to do too much measuring in life. You know, this is supposed to be easy. It's supposed to be beginners. It's supposed to be happy entrance way into all things creative, right? So we don't want to, like, get too technical or too bogged down with all that. We want an easy life. Shall we press hard with our pencil? I tell you what, the fact that you asked that means that you've been here often, and I appreciate that. 
um, because I'm always talking about how much pressure I put on with my pencil. And for this, it doesn't matter. For this bit, it doesn't matter. I'm pressing hard so you guys can see. If you press hard or light, it actually doesn't matter for this, all right? Because you're not going to see. This is actually going to be the back of the card. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you, right? 55 chats. Amazing. I love it. I love it. All right. So you've done your lines here and here. And this is just, the, this is like, as I said, this is like probably the easiest project we've done. And it is so crucial that you just get it in the right spot. So I want you to make sure that you've got it on the crease. Can you see the creases here? This is the opening of the card. This is the crease. Boom. Then you're going to get your scissors and you are going to cut up the lines. You are going to cut on the lines and you are going to try and make sure these lines are roughly the same height. You don't want one going really long, okay? Uh, I'm watching, but my thumb joint is hurting, so I'm resting it. Oh, Jean, are you okay? I can have a go in a few days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that. Do that. Are you all right, sweetheart? Uh, you're going at just the right speed. I love it. Thank you, Celeste. Thank you for that feedback. All right. So nice and carefully and slowly with the scissors. And can you see what's happening? We're just getting this a kind of a little flap happening right that's all we've got like this little flap happening so what i want you to do is go over to the other side and i want you to do the same thing and um if you want to do some actually i'll tell you what let me just finish this bit and then i'm going to tell you some alternatives all right so you're just going along those lines and that's it all right so you've kind of got this sort of flapping bit and this sort of flapping bit right easy right super 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 easy now you may have some other ideas and you might think why do the length, those lengths have to be that long i want to do it longer i want to do it shorter you can if you want to draw your lines longer you can what what happens is that it comes forward more so instead see how these two flowers are at the same like level if you do lines that are longer this is going to come forward more so you're going to see it forward to the front so if you want to do longer lines that is what will happen and you can make this super creative actually i'll have to put it on like my instagram or my facebook or something with all the examples that i've done in the past of this project because i've got so many different examples and they're all so cute and they've all got like different layers and different levels and happy birthday and happy mother's day and like they're so so fun so if you want to do that you can but if you've never done this before and you're not quite sure let's just keep it as that right so let's do that yeah cut on all the lines cut on all the lines and then what we're gonna do do you know how many people are watching this not right at this second i don't um so then what i want you to do have you done that celeste did you do that did you cut then what i want you to do is i want you to fold this flap here like this and just press along here right and it's really 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 important that this is straight okay super important that this is straight right super important so you want to do that with both of them you want to make sure those flaps are happening and nice and folded and you could get a, i don't have a ruler on me today but you could get a ruler and just press it so it's like nice and flat and straight right so that's all i want you to do just do that and then i want you to put them back again so you fold it over and then push it back again right that's it that's all you got to do that's it just that cut along the lines fold it put it back again question mark what's the question mark tell me tell me all right and then once you've done that you're gonna fold them back and then you are gonna fold the whole thing open so you're gonna put your fingers in there 
and you're gonna and now it can be a bit tricky especially if you're using paper to fold this back out right you've got to be really careful and fold it open right because sometimes they can get a bit dislodged especially if you're using paper all right so you just want to open it up like that okay easy oh you're good Jean I'm glad <sighs> We have to be extra careful right now, don't we? Because the last thing we want to do is end up with any, like, you know, knocking ourselves or anything like that. We've got to be extra careful, extra vigilant. We've got to be super careful. So we good? Are we good? Are we good? Are we just... We should have this now so you can just see those two bits in there right and then this is where the magic happens guys this is the magical moment are you ready for the magical moment wait okay i'm waiting i'm waiting i'm waiting if you're watching this you could always go ahead and share that would be much appreciated with someone that you think might like this so easy this project oh my gosh so so easy oh the family could do this one it's half term here in the uk so I thought it'd be really nice to do like a family kind of project that is like good for kids and adults. Obviously it's using scissors. So if you are with a child, you wanna make sure that you are overseeing what they're doing with the scissors and using them safely. Rishav, how you doing? Nice to see you again. Welcome, welcome. We're making a card. We're making a pop-up card today. What do you think? What do you think of this beautiful card? What do you reckon? What do you reckon? So all we've done... Can you wait two minutes, please? Of course I can wait two minutes. I can chat away for two minutes. I'll recap for Rishav. I'll recap. So all we've done is we've got a piece of A4 card. We folded it in half. So here we go. We folded it in half. Then we marked off four lines here. So... Can you see these four lines? And you have to do this on the crease. So you see you've got the open part here and you've got the crease. You've got to mark four lines that are kind of parallel and kind of the same height roughly. Then you cut along the lines, fold it, fold the flaps up, put the flaps back down, open up the card and that's where we got to, right? It's amazing, thank you. How have you been? How's your week been? all right so are we ready for the next step let's now this is the pop-up bit now what you're gonna do is i'm gonna try and get a really good angle here so you can see it you want to push so you want to hold it like this so you're holding it on the crease and you want to get your thumbs and you're gonna push these flaps out to the front so this is the back of the card what you're going to do is you're going to hold it and then you're going to push these bits out so you want to push 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 not too hard you're putting all the pressure on your thumbs there and not on your other on the hand i've done it all wrong no how come have you got another piece of cock and you do it again how can you've done it all wrong <laughs> you just do it on the crease that's all you probably didn't do it on the crease right and then you're pushing your thumbs out see my thumbs under there hello slim how are you hi zach looks amazing thank you how's it going slim you got a lovely picture there uh so you want to just push it out there push your fingers your thumbs should i say push your thumbs through and then okay i'm waiting i'm waiting is it okay are you okay grab some card if you're just joining grab some card and come join in with us we're making a pop-up card and like we've done the main structure already so we got like a a completely easy life from here on in right and then all you want to do is at the back you are just gonna close it up like a card right and just press it so what you should end up with is like a card which has got these two little squares here and then these openings right so what i can do actually i'll tell you what while i'm waiting and letting celeste like just do that bit and whoever else is doing it i'm going to show you what happens if you do a longer one right so if i do like something maybe that's closer together and then i do something that's longer 
right some longer lines oh and don't worry if you just like i'm gonna rub this out just so it's clear for you but don't worry if you do things like that because this is the back and it will get covered right and then i'll do another like kind of two little things this is an alternative alternative you're gonna make sure you've done it on the crease so celeste if you want to check this out if it helps you it'll be showing again and then you're just going to cut along the line so this is going to be a long one you just got to make sure that the two lines end up in roughly the same place i'm going to do another little bit here then i'm going to fold right don't forget the folding this is so important to do the folding so so important this one's going to come all the way out there you've got to get that bit nice and straight and press down right then you're gonna fold them back can be a little bit tricky to open the card back up so you might have to like get your fingers in there right fold it open and then you're gonna do the same thing you're gonna press these bits out so you're pressing out there right and then here you're going to bring these. Can you see I'm bringing them? I'm pushing from behind here. And I'm bringing them out. You see? And then you're going to close it. Now this one will stick out a little bit. But that's alright. We don't mind. And then look. You get this. So you get. I'm going to hold it on here. So you get like a, a massive section. Look. You can put your whole hand through it. <laughs> right and then you can do stick things on there so that's another alternative right but you can see that one's a little bit out there that's why we're keeping with this one which is nice and simple all right but i wanted to just show you the alternative because there's quite a lot of things you can do with this with your imagination and kind of go a bit wild and do lots of ideas right but i'm going to leave that one over there and we're going to carry on today's my birthday happy birthday rishav happy birthday i hope you're having a lovely day so yeah, so we should have something like this, right? This should be all good. And then, could you repeat? Could you repeat that piece of paper instructions again? I tell you what, I'm not going to repeat it again just because I've said it like already twice. So just, I can tell you, but I'm not going to do it again. So you're folding the card, you're drawing the four lines, cutting along the lines, folding it, then folding it back then opening the card and then pushing it back right pushing it through alan how you doing happy wednesday leona is the bomb diddy.com <laughs> do you like my backdrop do you recognize it if you follow me on instagram or facebook or twitter actually you should recognize this if you don't here we go you can you can follow me there artist resource on everything facebook instagram and twitter do you know what the backdrop is do you recognize do you recognize let me know if you recognize uh thank you oh that's my pleasure i'm gonna wish you happy birthday i'm gonna wish you happy wednesday that's what i'm gonna wish you if you ever come in again it's not your birthday and it's a wednesday and i'm here i'm gonna wish you happy wednesday you know that's what's happening right here right now uh so yeah so we got this right and now we're gonna decorate it so what we want to do is we're gonna decorate it with these lovely beautiful flowers and we're gonna put some butterflies and things in the background or whatever things you've got actually it's all optional it just depends what you've got right so what we're gonna do is we are going to now i think this is a really good idea this is kind of optional but this is a really good idea if you're unsure and you've never done this project before and you kind of this is the first uh, pop-up that you've ever done what i want you to do is mark a cross or two crosses on the front so if you look here this how can i show you so it's super clear ah here we go so if you lay your card in front of you like this, you can see that these two bits, the front, not the top, the front. So this is the back of the card. This is the front of the card. 
and then these bits is where we're going to stick our beautiful flowers onto so you can make a couple of crosses if it makes it easier for you so you know where you're going to stick and what you want to make sure is that whatever you stick onto them doesn't go below the bottom of that square it shouldn't go below when you're sticking it on it doesn't want to go below that otherwise it's just not going to work it's not going to kind of pop out right that's it that's all that's all you need to know that is all you need to know right so just before we go on to decoration let's just get our other piece of card so whatever celeste whatever one you've got was it orange or yellow i can't remember the other one we're going to stick on the back okay and the only reason this is also kind of optional uh the only reason is so if you don't give someone a card with two square holes in them right i've done it a bit to the left by accident that's fine that is absolutely fine it doesn't have to be exactly in the middle don't even worry all right so i'm gonna get the piece that i've done we've got the little squares inside and i'm gonna glue now with my glue stick i'm gonna glue to my heart's content and i'm gonna stick on the other sheet and i am gluing onto this one because i don't want any glue in here right on the other piece if that makes any sense to you if it doesn't just do make sure you glue on this right if you're like leona what do you mean i'm gonna place it on here and then i'm gonna close it up and i'm gonna give it a good press right you can do this section right at the end if you want to but i thought let's just do it now let's get it over with and then we can do all the fun stuff all the decoration and all that right so then you want to just put some glue on here and stick this together right let's do that glue 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 lots of lovely glue nice bit of glue there this is actually really great because this glue I had left over from like the millions of like classes that I do and stuff. Um, and it's so good that it's purple for doing the live stream so you guys can see it a little bit. I mean, I know it's not bright purple, but it's better than it being completely clear. You can actually see, right? And then we're gluing it in. We're gluing it in. We're gluing it in. Oh, oh, it's spinning around. It's spinning it round, and then we're going to press over the top. And you've got to give it a good press, guys, because it, the glue, sellotape, all that kind of stuff needs a good bit of good bit of glue in, good bit of pressing, right? Press, 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 and then we should have that. Amazing, right? You should have this. And you've got your two bits so this would be how you open it up like this and then these two bits are the bits you're going to stick on your flowers right which we're going to do right now uh could you show me what yours looks like like that so we've got two flowers we're going to make the stems of the flowers then we've got the flowers on there We've got a bit of water happening. I mean, this is just all the stuff I've got, right? So you want to, like, work with what you've got. If you haven't got any pattern paper and you've just got plain colours, you can just make some templates and just kind of repeat it. I'll talk about it when I'm doing it, right? But it's, you can just make a template. Remember, like, we did in the second project in the fabric painting. Remember? We made some templates. You can just do that, right? so don't worry if you want them to be like perfectly the same okay so i'm going to show you what that means right this second oh yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> the entertainment guys the entertainment i hope you're appreciating the entertainment all right so what you're going to do is you're going to find in your stack full of papers I want you to find something that's green or nearly green or thereabouts green. Now mine has got these kind of like lovely kind of triangular shapes on, which I think is really pretty and I don't really mind. I think that looks great. I think it looks kind of funky and different. It's a bit more unusual than just using green, but obviously you can use green, right? You can use the green. Oh, 
Oh, <laughs> who's that? Who's that there? Who's that? Uh, what have you got on the front? Would this be, be the way they would display open? Yes, I can't exactly show you what's on mine because it actually is a card for someone that I'm giving to them. But basically, <laughs> so I don't want to show you just in case she watches this and then she's like, oh my God, that's my card. Uh, which actually she probably won't mind, but anyway. But I've just put on like happy birthday. So I've put on this side like happy birthday right so i've just kind of i'll tell you what i can do it right here right now i've just literally done this i've just literally written happy birthday and then their name there right yeah so i just read it on there so they kind of get it like that and then they open it like that or you can write it on the bottom like you could put here like lots of love from so you can do like a big message right uh i'm just watching gonna make one for someone next birthday right this is like stock yourself up on the projects stock yourself up on the projects i hope that helped i basically just did happy birthday lots of love from Leona and then they kind of open it up so it's sort of yeah they would display it like that like sitting down on the mantelpiece or in their bedroom or wherever they're going to display it like that all right so let's get on to the stems so choose yourself some green I'm going to use this green and what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw on some kind of like wavy kind of hmm how can I say this some wavy a wavy kind of curvy leaf so what's really important about this is that you make sure that it's got a straight edge at the bottom right and then you come up from it right and what you might want to do is like just test one out so I would draw something that's like a little bit like that kind of shape, almost like just a gentle curve going off to one side. Make sure it's got a straight edge. So this is just a test, okay? So if you're following along, don't feel like you've got to suddenly cut something out because you don't. I just want to show you something like this. I just want to show you what we're working with. So you cut, cut a little bit out like that. And then you want to place it on to your card, not gluing or anything. You just want to place it on and see that it's about the right size. Because what you don't want is to make your flower too high. If you make it too high, then it's going to pop out of the card. So when you close it, it's going to pop out. And you don't want that. So I would say you don't want to make your uh, leaves and your stem like too long like not as much as say halfway let's say halfway up right so not higher than halfway and that is just a real rough measurement like you can go ahead and use a ruler and measure that but let's just say not higher than halfway all right because we don't when we close it we can't have it like poking out right really important really really important this is why we just want to test it out first of all we don't want to glue anything we just want to make a bunch of tests all right so that's going to be my first little test and then i'm going to do something for the stem i'm going to do kind of like a curvy shape this paper is quite handy because it's got straight lines on it so i know where to kind of roughly stop i mean this might be too long right but i'm just going to do kind of like a wiggly wave so i'm going to do a wave on one side and then i'm going to do a wave on the other side and I'm going to do that. And then I'm just going to just gonna test it out. I'm just going to test it. So I'm going to cut it out. And I'm not going to stress about it. I'm just going to be like, let's just see how long this is. Now, if you are limited on resources and you're like, I don't want to just do tests with my beautiful paper. 
or my beautiful card that I've got, then just do this on some scrap. You could do this on some junk mail or just some paper that you don't really use or just a bit of packaging or anything that you're not really using because you don't want to, if you were like really like, oh my God, this is like the only piece of this beautiful thing that I've got, then you don't want to do, you know, don't want to waste it, right? So something like that is going to work and then your flower is going to go there and you see when you close it, can you see that? Can you see how the stem is like really near the top? So you want to make sure, I've actually got to make sure it's a little bit smaller because I don't want my flower to pop out. Do you get that? Do you get what I'm trying to say there? Is that coming across loud and clear? I hope it is. So I'm actually going to just do mine a little bit shorter. I'm going to trim it just so it's a little bit shorter so I just don't go too high. And this one too, right? I'm just going to give it a little trim off, all right? And then I'm gonna do the last one. And with the last one, I'm gonna start using these as templates now, right? And if you watch the, the uh, oh look, it says happy birthday there. There you go, happy birthday. Uh, if you watch the fabric painting one and we talked about templates a lot, this is kind of the same thing. So you've already done one shape and then you're just gonna draw around that again to get the same shape, right? And I'm gonna do mine kind of like mirrored so what I want is I want this shape, then the stem, then I want this shape again, but I want it like this on the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trace that onto here. That's all I'm going to do. I mean, actually, I'll tell you what, I could probably use one of my scraps. Look, let's be really, really good and use all the scrap bits, right? Not even wasting anything. And if you can, you should have like a little box that you can keep all your scrap bits in, right? Because you never know when they're gonna come in handy. Then the, you can definitely you do this project out of like scrap bits. I will show you mine on Instagram. Amazing. Good, good. So how are you getting on with these bits? So we're just gonna cut round here. We're gonna cut round again. right and then we've got our whole bit with our stem and our little gorgeous leaves on there now i'm so happy with mine that i'm just going to copy that again so i'm just going to do the same thing on this again right and i can use all these three things as templates right so i'm literally going to Get, I tell you what, shall I do it on the reverse and then you can see because there's a different pattern on there. That might be really helpful for you guys to see that clearly, right? So I'm going to get this. I'm going to just lay it down and I'm just going to draw around it. I'm just going to draw around exactly the same thing. I'm going to get my little one here, my long one, should I say. I'm going to Actually, I'll tell you what, look, I'm going to use this paper really well and I'm going to actually do it on the side because it doesn't matter what angle you trace around it at, does it, really? I want to make sure I'm not wasting this card. And then I'm going to do the other one up here. So I'm just literally chasing around them, all three of them, chasing around the shapes and I'm going to cut those out. And I've got another one i'm good i did a flower out of sewing i mean string not sewing. <gasps> you did a flower out of sewing of, to have st no, i'm repeating what you said <laughs> out of string that's amazing wow oh yeah you'd have to show me actually celeste you haven't shared any of your work with me yet you're gonna have to share some of your stuff with me for sure all right so i'm gonna cut these out now Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Just cutting around. Easy peasy. 
concentrating, concentrating, taking your time as well, taking your time. No rushing when you're using scissors. Make sure you've, they've got flat bottoms. They need to have a flat bottom, otherwise it's not gonna work. All right, and then you should have something like that. Something like that and something like that. Right, which looks really lovely and you're gonna stick them on here, but before you stick them on, you're gonna make your flower, right? You're gonna make your flower. So you can either get a plain piece and you could get, I don't know, like a piece of red card. You could draw a flower onto there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out a flower from here because they're just so gorgeous. And I just really love them. So if you've already got something that's got flowers on, you might want to cut. That's the completely easy, easy, easy peasy route. Like if you've got card or paper that's got flowers on already, which I have, which is what inspired me to do this. Or actually, maybe those ones. Or maybe that's a little bit too small. See, these ones I think are a little bit big. What else have we got over here? Oh, we got these, which could look nice. <gasps> we got those, which are so, how pretty are these, right? They're so pretty. And we've got that one, which is probably my fave, but I still think they're a bit small. Uh, yeah let's do that we're gonna stick with this one i think so if you've got something already you can just choose what you're gonna cut out and cut it out right so i'm gonna choose like these flowers so this one here or should i do it in pen so you can see what i'm bringing around so i'm gonna cut this flower out here and this flower out here right because they're so gorge so so gorgeous and whenever you're choosing something to cut out always like get rid of the big bits first like just get rid of what you don't need because it's just much easier to like get rid of you when you're cutting something you want to like have an easier life as possible as with all art as with all everything but you want to just hold something small in your hand right you don't want to be holding a huge like massive piece um you want to be like doing this right you want to make it easy so i'm just going to follow around the flower and i'm rotating the flower and not my scissors can you see that can you see the way i'm like moving actually let's come a bit closer I'm like moving my thumb and my fingers around and not the scissors. The scissors are staying in the same spot. And can you see how I'm using right inside the scissors, not the tips of the scissors? There's some scissor tips happening right here. I mean, Facebook, not Instagram. Oh, okay, that's fine, whichever one. You know what, where I'm at, don't you? You know which one, there you go there's my bits up there so again let's see if I can get a bit closer so again I'm using right up in here right up not on the tips of the scissors right inside here yeah moving around 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 yeah you could obviously use like a cutting knife and a cutting mat, but obviously you want to be really careful and you want to really practice before you do that kind of thing because it can be like a bit tricky, right? And then I just love these flowers. How pretty are they? Oh my gosh, this is so lovely, right? I mean, maybe they're a little bit big for the stems, but they're just so gorgeous so so lovely all right so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna double check that it's all fitting on okay so we want to make sure that when we close this that the flower isn't gonna stick out all right so let's just before we get any glue we're gonna just hold this up we're gonna actually I'll tell you what you only really need the stem right you only really need the stem to make sure 
you're going to hold the stem, you're going to hold the flower where it's going to be and you're going to try, I need to see if I can get this, you can see, hold it up together and then you're going to see where it closes. Now, oh my gosh, that like literally, can you see how it's poking out just a tiny bit down here? So it's going to be, can you see there, look, it's poking out a little bit, it's poking out. So I'm going to just trim that up. I need to make my flowers just a tiny bit smaller. So I'm almost going to like trim off this white section, I think, of these petals. Use a bit of artistic license and just kind of make up a little bit there. And then same with here, just trim around, make it a little bit smaller. It's really important if you're going to post the card, if you're just going to like, um, if you're going to like hand deliver it or give it to someone, it doesn't matter so much. But if you're going to put it in the post, you want to make sure it's going to fit in an envelope, right? Uh, thanks for liking my comment on the last video. I like all your comments. I like all of them. All right, should we get glue in? Let's get glue in. Let's get glue in. So, let's get glue in. So, what we're going to do is we are going to now. The most important thing here is to not over glue because if you just you're going to might get glue everywhere at this stage, and you don't want that. You do not want that. So, my lovely people, let's glue our stem down first. And what you want to be doing is gluing on that square. Right? So, what you can do to, if you are someone who is likes things very, very neat, what you can do is you can make a little mark. You can make a mark. You can hold your thumb there. And you see how I've got the bottom of the stem on that line. You can hold it here and you can make a mark. So you literally only glue on that section, right? If you want to, or you can just go ahead and splurge load of glue on here. The trouble is if you splurge loads of glue, then it's not gonna it's not gonna be good. Oh and I don't want to get glue on there either, so I wanna have like a little something. Maybe I'll just have a little bit of there. There you go. There are five people watching this. Are there? It's really weird. Like YouTube, like never the numbers are never right on YouTube. Like sometimes it's more and sometimes it's less. It's quite bizarre. So you never really know exactly how many people are watching until afterwards. So you should have something like that, right? With your stem on. Obviously, it's in the middle. I'm going to do the same with the other one. I'm not going to make a little line. I'm just going to kind of estimate it's probably about there. And then I'm going to stick that on there. So you're sticking it on the front, right? The front like that. And then you're going to get your beautiful... You are in genius. Celeste, you're too lovely. You are someone who's full of compliments and is very, very nice. It doesn't really matter if you spell it wrong. I don't mind. The thought is there. So you're going to get these two little bits and you're going to then, you're going to glue them on there. And can you see what I was saying about you don't want to glue, you don't want to glue on the square because we're going to have bits of the square that are showing, right? And you want to put them in front like that, which looks really, I mean, I just think that looks so pretty. It looks so, so pretty. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a bit of glue on the ends here. Just a little bit here and a little bit there. So even though this project is like so, so easy, there are like a few little tips that if you follow along with the actual tips in mind, you just have an easier life. Did I, I keep saying that about it being easy, don't I? But that is the main point of me being here, is to try and make art projects so easy for you that you give them a go because like oftentimes people that are super creative actually get a bit stressed out like by their art by their creativity and they're like oh my god like I just want to be and do this and then but it's got to be perfect or it's got to be like this or it's got to be in some other way and um you know I want people just to feel like easy and relaxed so that's why I'll use the word easy many times and over and over again 
All right, so we're going to stick the other one on. Can you see how I'm getting that flat piece at the bottom there on that line? <gasps> it's looking gorgeous. And then I'm going to do the final one. So I'm just going to put a bit of glue on the bottom. Can you see it's not that much? So I'm putting it just a little bit there. And then I'm going to stick that on there. And I'm going to really press. Now, this is a really important bit. You're going to press. I'm going to get my thumbs and I'm going to press here. And I've got my fingers inside those little squares there. And I'm going to press. All right. Press, press, press. So it's nice and strong. And then gorgeous flower time I'm gonna oh my god they look so cute I mean this one might even be better than the other one all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put a bit of glue and what you can do is you can put like um, you know a piece of scrap card or something behind here when you glue so you need a little bit of glue there a little bit of glue on that one and then you're gonna glue your flower down oh my gosh and glue your little flower down there you could use sellotape if you've got sellotape you could put sellotape on the back if you want <gasps> oh my gosh tell me that looks amazing i'm really loving it it's so cute and obviously if you were going to make a flower so if you were going to draw a flower like onto a piece of card you can totally do that you could draw a lovely little pretty flower like a cartoony one like this or something a bit more elaborate and then you could cut that out and then you can draw around it again and cut it out for another one right use it as a template so if you don't have any like pretty cards like this just draw a flower you could draw one like that one which is kind of lots of wiggly lines maybe it's kind of like a carnation or something and then it's kind of like this. Woo! And then just cut that out. Gorgeous, isn't it, Jean? <gasps> so, so pretty. I love the way it keeps just saying happy birthday there. So anyone who's got a birthday can be like, yay. So that is the main, you know, I said that this is gonna be done in like 45 minutes and we, you know, we always start about 10 minutes in. We did this in about 45 minutes, just under. And it looks gorgeous, right? Looks so nice. Looks so, so nice. So now all that you want to do is decorations. For the other decorations, I kind of did like some butterflies in the background. And you know what? I didn't even look at any pictures of butterflies. I kind of just did a sort of a rough kind of picture what I thought in my mind of a butterfly. It's actually better to kind of have a look and kind of copy it. But I'm going to stick a couple of butterflies in the background. I'm going to put a little bit of water and then some other flowers you could draw like a little dragonfly you can draw stuff obviously you can draw stuff but i think it's quite nice if you keep it like collagey like this if you draw things onto colored paper on cards and cut it out if you mix too many kind of different ideas sometimes it can get a bit muddly so if for example if you now drew everything around it it wouldn't look quite as nice as if it would is if you followed this same kind of drawing onto card and cutting it out collage type effect right so with that in mind let me do some things in the background so have a look at what you've got i've got this kind of like um this wavy sort of thing happening so I'm going to put some kind of water in the background. I'm going to just lay my card on the top here and just trace around the outside here like this. So I get the shape underneath about, because then it's going to come up to about here, which is what I want. Right? And then I'm going to cut that out. I'm going to stick that on. And it's going to look fabulous, darling. It's going to look so fabulous. All right, we we'll trim that out. So let me know if you've got any ideas on what you can do to make this card like amazing. Obviously, it depends on what materials you've got 
and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to follow this pattern here and I'm just going to go curve around this. But what other kind of ideas? I think this works really well, like a summery theme, like with flowers and you could do a pond. Oh, that was the first one I ever did this project years ago when I first taught this project. Um, I did like a little pond and it, little ducks and stuff on it, which was so cute. Right, I'm gonna put this down here. Nice big bit of glue. On the bottom. Like that. Lovely stuff. And then, what should I do next? Should I do these butterflies? What can I do my butterflies out of? I've got, all those are flowers. What have I got on here? Let's see what I've got. Oh no, that's quite nice. And what you want to do is you want to have a look that it's not kind of too distracting from the flowers like that might be a little bit too much going on that's the green so we don't want that oh we got this spotty one what's this one would that work behind that looks pretty nice and kind of goes with the water what about this one you just place things behind and have a look i quite like this blue one right so what I'm going to do for the butterfly is I'm going to fold this in half. So if you want to if you want to do something that's symmetrical, you want to fold in half and then you want to draw on your shape. So in this case, I'm going to do kind of like a butterfly sort of wing and then a smaller butterfly wing and then the little bit at the bottom. I'm just going to go around that in pen so you can see a little bit clearly, a little bit clearer. So I'm kind of doing, I mean, there's kind of like leaf shapes, right? There's one leaf shape and then a little baby leaf shape and then a little bit at the bottom, something like that. Leona, I am going in the shower. I see you here at 8.30. Otherwise, you'll see me on Facebook. You're so funny from Alex. <laughs> I will probably be here. You might just catch just the end because I think we're going to finish at about half past. So you probably just catch the end, which would be amazing. You can see the big reveal. <gasps> so cool. So I'm going to cut that out. Cutting it out, cutting it out. So obviously we're looking at half of the butterfly here and then we folded it and again we're working on the crease so this has got that same kind of process as the other one right as the um, same kind of process as doing the actual pop-up bits right so let's get these bits out of the way boom and then we'll have a look at our little butterfly and see how it's come out Ooh, we're just folding it out and that's going to look pretty nice up there. How cute. I think I need one little small one up here. So let me do that again. And I'll show you how to do that again. Which is super easy. I'm going to use this I think. Because that looks. Yeah. Although I mean that's lovely. You could just put that on the background right. It look amazing. So pretty. So pretty. So pretty. Now I could just trace around this. Obviously. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. I am going to show you how to do that again. But I'm just going to do a smaller one. So I'm going to fold this little piece in half. I'm going to make sure. Now this is exactly the same size. So I'm going to trim it up and make it a bit smaller. And then I'm going to do a smaller one. So I am going to do a little tiny kind of bit at the top then I'm gonna do this kind of like leafy petally shape like this and then another one at the bottom right and you need to leave a little bit out for the body and then I'm gonna do that again Cut that out. 
we'll have two butterflies so really you can kind of like decorate this however you want you could use gems you could use stickers you could use um what else could you use washi tapes what else could you use i mean there's just so many things you could use foam shapes you could use fabrics oh i tell you what you could use fabrics which would be amazing like imagine like a little bit of lace or something on the top or on the bottom that would look gorgeous Ooh, a little bit of fabric happening um what else could you do what else could you do i'm gonna just adjust the top of this a little bit i'm gonna make it a bit more into a point so it's a bit more like that <gasps> Ooh, look at those guys look at those they're so cute so i'm gonna stick these on the back here so cute i mean i am not totally against them coming out like this if you wanted i tell you what right if you wanted this could just be an artwork it doesn't have to be a card it could be a fabulous gorgeous artwork and then they could stick out but since i said i was doing a card i'm going to keep it inside and i'm going to stick this one first i'm going to bring back my bit of kind of scrap card just to kind of glue on top of and I'm going to give this a good glue. Make sure you do all the edges and everything. And I'm going to put that one on here. Giving it a good press down. And then I'm going to do the other little one. So cute. In the corner there. Super cute, super cute. Like that. Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> Keep saying how nice it is. I'm like, oh, it's so lovely, so lovely. But like, if you aren't loving your artwork, then kind of what's the point? You know, if you're, if you're not loving it, then stop and rethink and get some new equipment or new, new materials and make sure that you get to a point where you are enjoying it because there is really no point you know you want to like i keep saying make it easy make it beautiful right so then at the bottom i've kind of got this little kind of like pond thing happening so what i might do is have a couple more of these and just have them as like little reeds like coming out of the water so let me get this and i'm just gonna do a couple more of those things but i might make a couple a bit longer so I've got the flat bit here and I might make just a couple of sort of wavy curvy lines. Let's do, let's do three or let's do four. Let's do four. We'll do four. Love it or bin it. I like that, Jean. Yeah, love it or bin it. <laughs> Yeah, because you don't what you don't want to do is like give something to someone that you don't like like if you've made something and you're like oh i really don't like this don't give it to somebody because that won't make you feel very good right you want to like <laughs> you want to feel pleased with what you've done you know you might be unsure about it if you're unsure that's fine that is absolutely fine if you're like well i kind of like it but i'm not quite sure it's okay that's fine but if you really don't like it like don't send it to anyone and i don't completely agree i don't completely agree with bin it i'm laughing because i found it funny but i don't think you should bin it especially if you're a beginner i think you should hold on to things and just come back to it after a while so put it in like a little plastic folder or something and then come and have another look at it in a few days time or a week's time or just when you're doing something else and then you're like oh i remember i made that thing and come back to it and then see what your opinion is and think about why if you still don't like it think about why you don't like it because it really can give you like some indicators on the things you do like right so you can be i, I don't like it because it's too dark and then you're like oh i need to make it lighter i need to make things a bit brighter or I don't like because it's too square and angular. 
then make it more curvy. Do you know what I mean? Or whatever it is. And that's not no, like, there's no rules there. So angular is great and dark is great. You know what I mean? It's just whatever you feel towards it is what's important. And if you can kind of work out what those things are, then great, right? And you've worked out what those things are. And you can make something new and feel different towards it and get closer to something that you might like. And as long as you're working towards getting closer to something you like, then you're on a good journey, right? You're on a good, good creative journey. Right? There we go. Right, I'm going to glue these down. My little kind of things. Shall I put them, tuck in it behind a little bit maybe? Oh, I'm getting all gluey now. Getting all gluey. So you can tuck it behind if you like. Maybe put it on a bit of a curve. Bit of an angle. Bit of an angle. Put it on a bit of an angle. Ooh, so cute, so cute. Um, I think I'm just going to do one more thing. I'm going to think I'm going to put some, I think we'll do two more things. We'll do two more things. I'm going to put a, like a bunch of flowers in that space there. A dragonfly would look really cute. But I'm going to stick to what I was originally doing. Maybe we'll do a dragonfly on another project. Cause dragonflies are fab, right? I'm going to do some flowers there. And then I'm going to do some little hearts because hearts are cute. And then we'll be done, right? So I'm going to get this gorgeous thing here and I'm going to cut out this gorgeous, amazing bunch of flowers here. Now, if when you're cutting, another tip is to draw around. Oh, I did that before anyway, didn't I? I did the drawing around. I did do the drawing around. But if you want to, you know, mark out where you're going to go, like if you've got a busy pattern like this, you might want to just like mark out around where you're going. You might not want to, and that's fine. <laughs> and that is fine. So we're going to go round, we're going to go round. Just taking it easy. Oh, I'm going to trim that off because it's getting a bit big now, a bit hard to handle. So yeah, so I guess the kind of theme of this pop-up card is that if you want to make it super super easy buy cards and papers mainly cards uh, that have got patterns on that you want to use and cut out in this case flowers right you could use actually greetings cards and again like we've done a few projects with the old collage you could use magazines and look for um, things in magazines, right? Oh, I've got a little bit of black marker on there. I'm going to cut that off. So there's like, like plenty of stuff you can use. Plenty of stuff. Plenty, plenty, plenty. All right, nice bit of glue in action here. And let's put that on in the middle. Ooh, so, so nice. All right, so I think the final thing I'm going to do is just add a few little hearts just here and there. Again, like I said before, if you decide to start drawing, it will kind of throw the theme off. You want to, if you've gone for the collage route and you're cutting and you're sticking, just stay with that. You could add fabrics because that's kind of still in the collage. But if you start drawing, you might end up kind of not liking what you've done. So I would definitely keep with that. So now I've got to find something to make some hearts out of. Like, what am I going to... Like, could I use some of these dots and put hearts on the dots? Oh, that's a bit small. Oh, this is cute. Maybe I could use this. Maybe I could use this. What do we think? What do we think? We draw some cute little hearts. Now you can do hearts in the same way. Maybe I should actually, I'll tell you what, instead of just drawing a heart, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the same way that I did the butterflies, right? 
simple simple easy 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 and what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna do this on the orange I know it's a bit orange on orange but I quite like can you see how this orange has got it's got like flowers on it can you see that and if you can see that it's got flowers on it so cute anyway right so with this I'm gonna do some small hearts I want them super super tiny so I'm gonna cut some little squares these are probably about an inch inch by an inch maybe bigger maybe two inches something like that and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold them in half so whatever if you've got a different pattern on the back you want to make sure that what you want is on the front although it doesn't make too much odds actually not too much odds these are like little books now so cute let's have one yeah let's have four i think well let's have five let's have five odd numbers are often really really great let's have five and then on the crease so we're following the same process this project has had the same process the whole way through folding on the crease drawing along the crease always drawing along the crease right not the other side not the open side along the crease right so we're going to draw our love heart and we're going to draw it like this so it's kind of a bit like an ear something like that shall i do it in the pen so you can see a bit clearly kind of like this and you want both of those points to end on the crease. Actually, that one maybe could go in a little bit like that. So it's like half, half a heart. Half a heart. And you, that bit has got to end in the corner or along the crease. If you do it like this, it's not going to work. That one won't work. All right, luckily I've got another one. like this all right and then we're going to cut them out and stick them lovely hearts on Woohoo! cut them out cut them out oh yeah oh that's so cute oh that is actually such a cute heart it's quite wide so you might you can get closer if you want oh it's so cute <laughs> <gasps> there's one there's two actually I don't need mm, let's see I'm like do I need do I need five I'm not sure there you go there's another one oh <gasps> I'm going to put one up there. I think I need it a bit smaller. So if you need it a bit smaller, you can just go ahead and just do the same thing again. You don't have to waste that piece. You can just do, it, do the same thing again. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. I quite like the way that all these hearts are the same colour. But yours doesn't have to be like that. So... You. all right time to glue are you ready are you ready for the final gluing the final final countdown of this project it's easy it's simple we've had a nice time it's been relaxing all the things you want right all the things okay bit of glue on here Bit of glue on there, bit of glue on here, bit of glue on there, and then you just want to kind of look where you're going to place them. Now, obviously, I've kind of had these like reeds on either side, so I want to place my heart so it kind of is tying everything up together. 
so it's like almost like giving it a little bit of a frame almost like that is the reason that I wanted them also to be the same color because it helps your eye to kind of just track around the card and if you do something like a bright orange or a bright red um, that's really gonna draw your eye in if you're doing anything that's red can you see how like your eye is really drawn in here that's because it's really really red right it's really deep red so you want to bear that in mind when you're choosing things like why are you choosing that color not just because you like it and you think it's beautiful but also because that's the way you want the viewer to like look at the card and lead their eye around it's all top tips I'm always bringing you the top tips guys top tips from every angle and odd numbers just always work so nicely <gasps> It looks so pretty. Amazing. I'm so pleased. And then it pops out. So you can like fold it over. I mean, you could write the happy birthday that way if you wanted to. It's up to you. And then you open it up. So let me show you from the side. Like that. Show you from above pretty cool hey pretty easy and super cute super cute and summery we love it we love it we love an easy card right handmade cards for the win so let me know send me if you made it along with me or you're watching this on the replay send it to me send me a picture you can send it to my facebook at artist resource my instagram at artist resource or my twitter at artist resource i would love to see that would be amazing thank you so much and also if you want to support the stream in any way that would be amazing you can go to my patreon patreon.com forward slash artist resource and you can donate three pound a month which would be amazing to help the continuation of these streams that i'm offering out to you oh yeah so stay in touch stay in touch and uh make beautiful things make beautiful things right it's a stunner i would love to receive a card like it yeah me too actually <laughs> actually who makes me cards <laughs> i've just thought for the last however like i'm 40 years old right and since i've been young <laughs> i here. have made everyone <laughs> cards and who sends me a card <laughs> who sends me a handmade card i know there is someone in my life that sends me handmade Sometimes. cards yeah you do <laughs> <laughs> so pretty super cute so the main thing is with this project is just make sure that those flowers don't pop out right that's a really important step just make sure they don't pop out unless you want it to be an artwork and then you can pop everything out and you can have the butterflies coming out from the sides and it will just be like phenomenal and i want to see what you've done so make sure you send it to me i'd love to see I made you a Leo card. Oh, that's true. That's true. Oh, Jean. Well, Jean is really talented. Jean is super, super talented and creative. And you, Jean. Amazing. Good job. Well done, guys. And I'll get you another in August. It's my birthday in August. If anyone wants to make me a card. <laughs> I'm only joking. Oh, actually, I just thought about someone else who made me a card. Okay it's all happening that's fine though i don't mind whatever works you can't expect anything in life right apart from just all the good things but don't ever expect someone to make you a card but send it anyway all right guys that's it from me for today thank you so much for joining in i hope you've really loved this amazing fabulous backdrop which is actually my artwork and oh my god look there's my face look there in there there's me it's it's completely inception right now that's what's happening <laughs> is it a dream is it reality is it a dream so uh yeah do subscribe to the channel please like this video please leave me a comment afterwards even if you've joined in during the stream if you can leave me a comment afterwards that'd be amazing uh share this video with someone you think might enjoy it that would be amazing 
uh, donate on the Patreon if you want to, if you want to support this creative thing and commit to your creativity, you can do that, patreon.com forward slash artist resource. And just stay creative, stay creative and join me next week, same time, same place, 7 p.m. UK time. You can check on my socials, what time zones they are in America. I think it's 11 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Central, and 2 p.m. Eastern. Woo! Thank you, thank you. Thank you for joining. Thank you for everyone that commented. It was lovely to have you. And I'll see you next week. Take care. Look after yourself. Lots of love. Bye.